a century apiece for KL Rahul and Rohit Sharma, two wickets for Ravindra Jadeja, three for Shami and Kuldeep, all three for Kuldeep coming in the form of a hat trick. If India were nudged in Chennai, they came out swinging at Vizag, winning the game by 107 runs, but not without a fight from the West Indies. The toss came down in favour of Kyron Pollard at Vizag and KP decided to chase naming two changes. Sunil Ambrose out, Hayden Walsh Jr. out, in came Evan Lewis and Khari Pierre. India also going in for bowling death in the form of Shardul Thakur. Out went Shivam Dube. But on a ground like this, India didn't really need batting depth. Short boundaries, flat track, they were sorted. And you could see that in the way KL Rahul and Rohit Sharma were batting. They were taking on the West Indian bowlers almost from the word go. Soon, both of them had half centuries. And a little more after that, they both had centuries. The third for KL Rahul, his first in India. And after he completed his century, he told everyone that he was not having any of it. And while he couldn't continue beyond his century, and Virat Kohli got out for a rare golden duck, Rohit Sharma, who scored his 28th ODI century, was just at it. Accelerating after his century, looking good for his fourth double. And while he was dismissed at 159, he didn't go down without breaking a few records. This was his 28th century. Since 2013, when he started opening every year, Rohit Sharma has been India's highest individual run scorer in an ODI innings. He now has the most sixes for a batsman in ODIs in 2019. And he just keeps smashing these records. Once the tone is set by the top order in that manner, the middle order has to cash in. Fresh from a half century in the previous game, Rishabh Pant came out hammer and tongs. Batting with him was Shreyas Iyer, who also picked the bones out of the West Indies bowling. India ended with 387 runs on the board. When there's a mountain of runs on the board, there's got to be pressure. And pressure was telling on the West Indies batsman right from the first over where of a ball of Deepak Jahar, Shea Hope edged one straight to KL Rahul at slips. But as has been the case with Indian catching off late, that catch went down. Evan Lewis and Shea Hope steadied the innings and they were going in a flow before Evan Lewis was finally dismissed by Shardul Thakur. And then, amidst all of this, India needed a fielding brilliance. And that came in the form of Shreyas Iyer, who ran behind the ball, dragged that back in, came back through a bullet throw at the non-strikers and Ravindra Jadeja collecting it, running the hero of the last match, Shimran Hetmaya out. India were up and running, but they had another thing coming for them as well. Nicholas Puran came out, joined hands with Shea Hope and took the Indian bowling apart, hitting Ravindra Jadeja, Kuldeep Yadav, just every bowler on attack out of the park. It needed brilliance and it had to come from second innings Shami, who came back got Nicholas Puran and then also got Kyron Pollard in the same over. When that many are down, Kuldeep was given the ball and he got one, two, three. Yes, three wickets of three consecutive balls, becoming the only Indian to now have two ODI hat-tricks. Beyond that, it was all a formality as India sealed the game by 107 runs. If India were poked at Chennai, they've come out and delivered a Daunting performance at Vizag, and the numbers are there for everyone to see. India may have creases to iron, but they have until Sunday for the final ODI.